obviously canal. It didn't focus. Okay, there we go. Potatoes, carrots, toast, and cheese. All the food groups. And what made you pick this meal? <laughs> it was called Pick and Scratch. And Coda wants some, don't you? Do you want some? I don't think he wanted that the first time. Somebody left a fry for him. Yeah, probably will. He really wants cheese if you want to give him a piece. Come on. Come on. Coda likes to sit at the table like humans. Sit. 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 Randy Brown. He doesn't do sit. He does everything but sit. So how was your day? No, how was your day? <laughs> what? What did you just say? I said blah blur. No, I said a blur. What does that mean? Like I'm just making fun of you, blah. Why are you making fun of me? Cause you're cute. I told her, okay, I, I was like, can we pull over so I can vlog for a second? Cause we didn't like vlog like really today. And so she did. And then I was like, you should turn off the car because we only have $10 worth of gas in the car. And then she said, what did you say? Blubbler. And then I was like, what? But anyway, um, I wanted her to pull over because I, I do want to vlog. I did want to vlog all day, but then things came up. And then uh, once I was at my mom's, I fully, not fully understood because I really still don't fully understand what's going on. But the whole thing in Paris, I got shot in my mouth. But anyway, um, I'm just, I'm really upset over that. Um, it's scary. It's scary how much hate there is in the world and when I'm anxious it's like even worse on me because I think of like the baddest things that could happen in the world and I'm like scared that we're gonna die and I just I don't want to talk about that right now because it's just sad and scary and stuff but um, I'm thinking about everyone in Paris and like I, I really do feel bad we're gonna talk about that's positive feels like everything's negative Shauna, go. Positive. I did my makeup today, and then I went in the bathroom and I came out with no makeup on. And that's positive? Yeah, because you like to kiss my fresh face. I do. I do love your face. That is a positive thing. Can I have a hug? I need a hug. I love you. I love you. You smell good, but I still smell makeup. That was really loud. It is 11.30 at night, probably a little bit later than that right now. So that's why I uh, asked her to pull over. What are you doing? That's Do how, that again, it was funny. It's a contour. I look like a monkey. Do you say ooh, ooh, ah, ah when you're doing it? No. <laughs> there you go. Do you have anything that you wanted to say today? Or are you having a blah day too? Um, a blah year. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I had an okay day. I started working out yesterday. Um, it's not like uh, a... Hey, hey, they're over here. When you're because talking to someone, you got... My neck hurts. Okay, well, we'll work on that. See, communication. We just we just got to talk to each other. Okay. So... Look at them. Look at them. I Look started them. working out. Okay, don't stab the camera. That, don't do that, because that would be really <laughs> bad. Don't do it. Okay, no, stop! Okay. okay, just kidding. So I started working out yesterday. Um, it's not like. And then she made muffins and they were really good. I okay, mean, bye. Cupcakes, no, I'm just kidding. They were cupcakes, which is worse, but that's yeah. that was a different time. Um, <laughs> no, but like. It's nothing like. You're still not looking at them. Because Why I did you like looking at them? I don't like staring like this. Like, it's just. But weird. you got to. They're people. 
You have to care about the people. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, I made a workout, <laughs> and it's... She's, like, grabbing my hand so hard it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dropped the mic. Okay, how about you just look at my finger the whole time? <laughs> Are you stressed? Yeah, why? Are you, like, actually stressed out, and that's why you're, like... No, I'm just really overtired. Wheelie? Wheelie. I can't even talk. I, when I'm stressed out, I try to avoid everything and try to be funny and, like, fun. Wait. I guess that's, like, the same thing. But I try to, like, avoid everything at all costs. And uh, vlogging is hard when I'm stressed out, which I'm sure you can see through the last, like, month of vlogs. Um, it's something. Muscle. What? I pulled my muscle in the back or something. Right there. What does that have to do with stress? She's like getting me off topic. Ah! Sorry, let's go on door. I'm stressed out. And when I'm stressed out, I still want to vlog, but I don't want to vlog, so it's like a confusing time for me. I just, I feel really crappy. And I, I don't want to bring people's moods down, but mine is like super down, so it's like really hard to like try to be like super happy. There's been a lot of things that happened to me in like the last couple days, and I'm just trying to work it out in my own mind and like stay positive about things. But it's really, really difficult because all I, all I can really see is the negatives, and everything is driving me crazy. Just everything. So. I just, I'm going to say good night, and I hope you guys had a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be a better day, because we can't always have perfect days. We can't really have perfect days anyways, but I don't know. We just can't always be happy, and today I am just not happy, and I'm trying, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way, so blah. Okay, so we're home now, and... Sometimes I just like to sit in the car after Sean is gone just so I can have quiet peacefulness be by myself be able to think um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but sometimes I just like to be alone Don't you ever feel like that? For a long time. I felt like I Didn't want to be alone, but now I don't know. I guess it's just my thing and I realized that I didn't want to end this vlog like on a bad note so I wanted to talk about something happy so I'm just trying to I don't know I guess think of happy things and one of the things that I can think about is the fact that I'm so appreciative of you guys I know I say it all the time and maybe you guys don't really believe me maybe you do I don't know but honestly seriously YouTube prevents me from hurting myself I feel like if I hurt myself like let's just say I cut myself and I don't say that lightly because I've done it before in the past I know other friends and people who have done it in the past and it's scary it's sad and it's it's a serious thing so I'm not I'm not saying that jokingly I'm not saying that in any disrespectful type of way I'm just saying if I cut myself and then you guys saw it I would feel like I was letting you down so I don't do that I also feel like if I killed myself I'd be letting a whole bunch of people down so I don't do that I know that's more drastic but for cutting I know a lot of people do that and they just they really don't know any other way to make themselves feel better so they think that's gonna help and like I kind of understand because I mean I've done it before in the past but it wasn't something that I did for a long extended period of time I have done like I've done it a couple times trying to end my life so it wasn't like I don't know how to really explain what I'm trying to say but it wasn't something that I was doing for a long time it was something that I did maybe three times in my whole life in really really hard times so what vlogging does for me is it prevents me from doing anything bad to myself and it also makes me get up out of bed and vlog because if I just stayed in bed all the time then the vlogs would be really really boring and then nobody would ever watch and then 
I would feel like I'm uploading for no reason because one, my memories suck because I'm laying in bed and not doing anything and two, nobody's watching, so what's the point? So, and I say nobody's watching, what's the point? going along with the fact that I would just be in bed vlogging because that would be boring because the memories are what matter to me that's what the point of this is and I don't know if I'm being clear on what I'm saying because my thoughts are just all jumbled and I'm just I'm honestly a mess right a mess right now still can't talk so it's still me so I'm gonna be okay I don't know I am a mess I am a mess though and that is true and this conversation was supposed to be positive and hopefully in some way you can take from this something positive but I do I do appreciate you guys but I am in a mess right now I feel like so super emotional and like I just want to cry about everything which is weird for me and it's not like it's because of my testosterone because I'm doing that all on time. So I don't really know what's going on with me. I'm just like hit with a lot of heavy emotions and I don't know how to deal with it in any other way but watching Netflix. And that's what I've been doing, watching a lot of Netflix stuff at night, um, different movies, documentaries, shows, and then watching vlogs and uh, being on Twitter, listening to Justin Bieber, you know just a whole bunch of stuff on my own that is making me feel better and I think that if any of you guys are feeling depressed or anxious or whatever it is that you should just find something that you really enjoy and try to focus on that I mean obviously we have a lot of other things going on in our lives and a lot of people have jobs and have to go to school and stuff so you still have to try to do those things but really find where your passion is and go with it and that's what I did with YouTube this is what this is this is what stopped me from doing a lot of bad things because I want to be good I want to do something with my life I want to mean something and I don't mean that in the way that I think I'm gonna go viral or whatever because that's that's not my plan I just I want to be able to connect with people um, on a level where I'm making friends and they're understanding how I'm feeling and I'm understanding how they're feeling and I have done that in this last year I've made friends through YouTube that I am so 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 grateful for and I know a lot of you guys watching mean a lot to me and I can't ever really thank you for that other than watching your videos and like helping you guys out which I will do I do um, but like I can't thank you enough I really can't because it's it's just I'm speechless when it comes to trying to talk about how like exactly how I feel about it but YouTube has saved my life this has saved my life you have saved my life and it really means a lot to me and hopefully you took something positive out of this vlog. Hopefully something made you smile. I'm I'm really sorry for how I'm feeling, but at the same time, this is life and this is what happens. We can't always have happy days. It can't always be exciting. It's life. And I wanna show you guys this side of YouTube. I want you to see the reality. A lot of YouTubers, they always seem happy and everything is great in their lives and everyone wants to be like them. Well, it's not always like that. And I want to show you all sides. I don't want to hide anything from you and this is it. Seriously, we get stressed out. We have a lot going on and sometimes it's just not happy. And I did it again because I was trying to make it positive, but I hope I just hope you guys get it. I hope you understand because I know I'm all over the place and I'm just going to say goodnight now and tomorrow is going to be a great day. I am sticking that in my head that tomorrow is going to be a great day. I'm going to have a great day. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I am going to make it great. So I hope you'll be there with me. I really appreciate you. I really, really do. Okay. I love you guys. Good night.